cuties welcome back to my channel so in this video today I'm going to show you guys how to create this lemon lime look I thought this was a really beautiful look that I don't see that often I love the contrast between yellow and green they're just so beautiful together so I thought I would combine them today and do this look I think it's so fun for summer for a summer party or anything like that it's just super bright and colorful so if you do like this look don't forget to like this video subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and if you guys want to get this lemon lime makeup look then please keep watching so for primer today, we're going to be priming with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Invisible Undercover Primer. And I've used this a couple times already. I really like it. It's kind of like a moisturizer and a primer in one. And it's been working really good with my skin lately because my skin has been feeling kind of dry. I've been feeling just really, really dry and I just feel like this really helps underneath my foundation and it keeps my skin looking luminous without looking dry or cracked. So that's why I really like it. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD Stick, and this is definitely one of my top favorite foundations of all time. It's just the best. So I just like to take it and kind of draw a few stripes around my face. I like to put a little extra on my nose because that's where my foundation tends to disappear on me a lot. And then I just like to go in with a brush. This foundation is about a medium to full coverage foundation, and by using a brush to blend in, I feel like it really helps keep it medium to full coverage without thinning it out by using a beauty blender. So I typically like to use a brush with this foundation. So next I'm going to go in and conceal and highlight using my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in Vanilla. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and apply it underneath my eyes and kind of in places that I want to highlight or conceal. I just like to take a beauty blender and this one's not super damp but is still damp and then I just like to go in and blend it out. So now that I have my foundation and concealer on, I'm going to go in and set my entire face. What I like to set with my eyes is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral. So I just take a little bit on my beauty sponge and I go in and I just place it underneath my eyes. You don't have to put a ton, just enough. And I like to bring it up against my nose to do some reverse contouring. Then I just like to press this in until it disappears. And then again, same for the other eye, I just dipped a little bit of the powder. And then going in and just pressing this into my skin. So to set my entire face, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay foundation powder. And you guys have probably seen me use this a lot because it is definitely my favorite foundation powder ever. So I just like to dip my brush in a little bit and then just kind of pat around making sure that I lock my foundation in because my skin is combination and it sometimes can get a little oily so I always have to set it with powder. So moving on to brows, I'm going to fill in my brows using my Anastasia Brow Duo in Ebony. I just like to mix both colors and then go in and start mapping out my arch. And this is a pretty dark shade compared to my eyebrows because my eyebrows are very, very light. And then I like to go in and start filling in the front. And I just take my brush and flick up. And that's how I get that shape in the front. Now that I have them filled in, I like to go in and always set them with a brow gel. And today I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in medium to dark. And I just like to go in and feather in that brow gel. So we're going to get started on this eye look, but first we have to prime our eyelids to make sure that that eyeshadow shows up, and it shows up very pigmented. So I've been using the Maybelline Master Prime eyeshadow primer, and I actually have really been liking this. It's worked really well for me, so that's what we're using today. So to start out this eye look, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm going to use the color... Rasher, which is a really pretty lime green. I'm gonna buff this into my crease using a Sigma E40 brush. And we're just blending this color into the crease. So this is gonna be kind of like our transition color that we're gonna use to transition into a yellow. Next, taking the color Freak from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm just gonna pack this dark green on the outer corner and bring it up a bit. And I'm just packing this on bringing it up into the crease, but I'm not bringing it too far in. 
And now I'm just going back with the Sigma E40 and blending that in to blend away any harsh lines. But don't blend too much because this color is really pretty and you don't want to blend too much of that color away. Now jumping into my Morphe 12B palette, I'm going to take a very dark green shade. It's a little bit darker than the one I put in and it's matte. And I'm going to take this on an M412 brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to start adding in a little bit more depth into the crease. And I just have my brush tilted up to kind of give me a more sharper edge. So next I'm going to go in with a white and this is just going to be my brow bone highlight. And I just like to add this in now because it helps everything blend a little bit better. And I'm just taking that white and applying it to the brow bone and bringing it down a little bit. So next I'm going to take a yellow eyeshadow stick and this one's by NYX and I'm going to apply it into the inner corner of my eye and that's where I'm going to do that pop of yellow. So just taking this and applying it here, bringing it up as well. I'm going to take this with a fluffy brush and kind of blend it a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this yellow shadow by NYX. And this is one of their primal shadows. And I'm just going to pop this right in the inner corner. And it's a really pretty yellow. So next I'm going to go in with the NYX Electro Liner in Jade. And I'm going to apply this to my waterline and also smoke out the lower lash line with some green. So next I'm going to go back in with that shade Freak, which is the really pretty green. It's a darker green and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. So I'm using this color on an E18 go in and kind of connect this out. I'm just smudging that out and connecting it and I'm bringing it pretty far down because we're going for a pretty smoky lemon line look today. So next I'm going to take this dark green shade in my Morphe 12 P palette and I'm going to be taking this and kind of darkening everything up. Just taking a little tiny bit of this on a fluffy brush and make sure you tap off the brush so you don't get too much of that dark green. I'm just going to add this in. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it will make everything a little bit darker. So next I'm going to take a sparkly yellow eyeshadow and highlight the inner corner of my eye just a little bit because I did want to add a little bit of sparkle to this look. So this yellow is really, really pretty for this inner corner because it is yellow and it's super shiny. I do like to bring it up a little bit into kind of like a C shape. So next I'm going to apply my Tarte Mascara and also some lashes. I'm gonna be using these Flutter Lashes today in the style Crazed. So I'm just gonna take this lash and drop it right on. All right, so now that we have our eye look done, I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer and just gonna warm up my entire face. This is one of the first bronzers I have hit pan on because I like to try different ones all the time, but this one I've used every day since I got it and it's my favorite. So I'm just taking this and bringing it forward to my cheek area to warm up my skin, give my skin some color. And I'm using this on a Morphe E58. I'm also going to take this up into my hairline and kind of just sun kiss my forehead a little bit because my skin just looks kind of flat. So now I'm going to contour my nose. This looks scary, but I promise it won't in a second. All right, so what I like to do next when contouring the nose is to take a smaller brush with a bit of powder on it and go over that contour and buff out any harsh lines. So for blush today, I'm gonna be using my new Morphe palette and I'm gonna take this peach blush in here. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna take this on a Morphe G4 and this blush looks so pigmented. I have to tap this off because it just looks so pigmented. Okay. It's very pigmented, so be careful if you have this palette to not dip into too much. These blushes are so pigmented. I'm liking this. All right, so for highlight today, I am gonna be using my Anastasia Glow Kit in, I believe this is Gleam, this is not new. Um, this one is my favorite. I really love this one, I've used this one for so long now, and I'm gonna use the shade Crushed Pearl on a Morphe M310. So I'm just gonna go in and highlight, nothing special about that. Just gonna go in and put this on my cheekbones and kind of dust it around my face to give myself a nice 
glow. And like I said before, this glow kit has always been my favorite. I just love it so much. I love that a lot of these shades are very silvery on my skin and they're just so beautiful. Next to clean up everything, I'm going to go back into my Cody Airspun powder with my Beauty Blender and I just like to go in and bake underneath my blush, bronzer, highlight, and you know around my mouth area because I get really bad creasing and smile lines in this area and this is just something that I have to do but if you don't get that you really don't have to do this step but this is just an extra step for me to avoid getting those smile lines that I really cannot get away from. So I just apply this powder right underneath also sharpens everything up and kind of lifts everything up a bit as well and now I have this little powder beard going and I'm gonna leave this on for about two minutes because I usually don't really wait five minutes I feel like that's a little bit long so three minutes to two minutes is perfect so just taking a big brush I'm gonna dust that off so for lips, I'm going to be aligning my lips first with my NYX Lip Liner Crayon in Nude Pink. And I haven't used this yet, but I will be trying it out now. It looks like it will match the lip color that I want to wear today. Alright, so now that we've got our lips lined, I'm going to go in with my Katy Perry CoverGirl Lipstick, the Katy Cat Matte. And this is in Pink Paws. This is such a pretty, kind of a pink peachy color. I really like it a lot. I love it. It feels really good too. I bought this lipstick at Target and I forgot that I had it and I saw it today and I was like, this will look perfect with this green eye look and I really like the way it looks. I feel like it complements the green a lot. Pink and green, I feel like they just are a perfect match together so I really, really like the way this looks together. So what I like to do next is set my face and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray. And that should be good, even though I kind of, kind of want to go again. So, all right. All right, I think we're good.